Maya One TV. Graced differently. Anointed differently. Testimony time. Testimony time with the global prophet. The global prophet. This is Mrs. Mututua Dunia. Mrs. Mututua Dunia. By the grace of God, she also has a very powerful testimony. And for this testimony, everybody that is trusting God for uncommon favor, get your prophetic seed for this testimony ready. Amen. And tap into this what? Test. Testimony. We were looking at her video. I wanted to play her video before we share her testimony. I'm talking of her ministration, her prophecies. And that day, it so happened that her mother, biological mother, was in church Amen. for the first time to witness the pastor who has been praying for her daughter. Hallelujah. Amen. And the mother said, never stop going to that church. That man of God is too on fire. Amen. He's too powerful. Everything he said is accurate. Everything he said was on point. Yes. Amen. And I prayed for the husband and I prayed for mama also. And it so happened that a few weeks after the prayer, yes. God came through just as I said. Amen. And I want to hear from the horse's own mouth what God has done for her. Fire nation! Fire! 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Mama, stand on the carpet and let's hear your testimony. Amen. Amen. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. So I'm just here to testify to the goodness of the Lord, the main. The Bible says God watches over his way to perform it, amen. Uh, so my testimony goes like this. I was working for the hospital, which is Coptic Hospital, under the HIV program. So last year in October, we were just taught to say this program is coming to an end because it was funded by World Bank through CRIS. So CRIS could fund us, everyone that was involved in that HIV and TB program. So because of the COVID, CRIS wasn't funded. And CRIS had to withhold also the fundings from the hospital. So that's why we were just told in a week's time to say we have to shut down the clinic because there are no fundings for you to continue running. So it came as a shock, and then we tried to plead, say, what will happen to the patient? They said, we are going to dispense the patient to the government facilities, then those that can afford to go to private hospitals, they can go. So I was given a month, because I was an, an in charge of the clinic, to write a report and hand over the things. So November was the last month that I got paid. And by then, my husband was away. So, November month end, that's when everything ended between me and Coptic Hospital. But in my mind, I had something to say, I'll find a job soon. I'll find a job soon. So I kept on applying, I kept on applying. Months were moving, nothing was happening. January came, nothing. February came, nothing. A few people know that I wasn't working. Except me. <laughs> so it came now that I got burdened. Like you could stay home, you've got nothing to do. Sometimes you could even feel like you are being depressed because you are used of working and now nothing is happening. That's how I said, mm -mm, let me run to Papa. This thing is unbearable to me. So that's how I sent him a text. And uh, he was so surprised to say I wasn't working. He said, but why didn't you tell me all this time? So he started praying with me. I could send him messages, complaining. And then on the way, I could find part-time jobs. One of the hospitals that gave me part-time job, it was two days in a week. I worked for some time. I got frustrated. I said, let me just stop. This is not my portion. That's how I stopped. Then 
then um, I think two months, uh, two months ago, yes, two months ago, I sent him a text. It was on a Saturday. I said, man of God, pray for me. I feel this is not me. I feel my faith was ebbing away at some point. I felt like I was, I really needed a touch from God. Uh, when you are being used to having your own money, you can bear with me. Mm, conflicts in homes, mainly they are based because of financial problems. Because maybe you need something, he sees it, it's less important to him. Amen. Yeah, you tell him something, to him it won't make sense, but to you, you really need it. I said, this is not my portion. So that very Sunday, it happened that um, my mom came to visit. She's based in Eastern Province. Uh, 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 that's where she works from. So I told her, today we are going together to church. So we came to church with her. And me, all my thoughts were like, Papa is going to prophesy to her today because he always prophesies to new people. And being the norm, Papa would always prophesy to my husband. Me, mm -mm. <laughs> I, uh, I think in the five years I've been in this church, he's only prophesied to me once or twice. And I meant to ask him today, Papa, do you always bypass me? You always... Prophesy to him, me, it's very rare that um, he would prophesy to me. So that day, he called me in front. He said, your blessing is coming. Wifey, your blessing is on the way coming. There is joy and there is laughter on Amen. the way coming for you. Amen. Even you, the Lord said, I should tell you, there is promotion coming for you. Amen. There is another promotion. Amen. It is coming for you. One of the strengths of the ministry of the global prophet, Apostle Dr. Elijah Kofi King, is result orientation. It has been known that when he speaks, God honors that word. Indeed, this couple will stand right here and testify to the glory of the God of the global prophet, Apostle Dr. Elijah Kofi King. And then he said, stop complaining. God has heard your prayer. Amen. While he was prophesying, he said, I see three stars falling on you. I've even seen a yellow diamond, a, a purple diamond that has fallen on you. And the Lord said, be calm. Because there is a great blessing on the way coming for you. What you are complaining about, the Lord said he has heard it. And there is a great blessing coming for you. I see in the realm of the spirit, the Lord said, the favor he placed on Esther, he has placed the same favor upon you. And I see a crown that has been placed on your head. And I see a purple diamond. A purple diamond. In fact, the diamond is changing color. It has changed three colors. From purple, it changed to blue. Then from blue, it changed to white. All these colors represent something very powerful. The purple color represents priesthood. The blue color represent favor and the white color represent victory he went ahead to say god will bless you you even stop sharing one car because you are going to have your own car like said your blessing is on the way coming Amen. i've just entered into a new house Amen. and i've seen a new car port Amen. and i saw your husband's car and i saw your car Amen. a blessing is on the way coming for Amen. you blessing is on the way coming for you so get ready where you are staying. You're not going to stay there forever. Blessing will move you from there. And the car you are driving, you not you not share it with your husband. Your own car is on the way coming. Amen. And you come and testify to this same congregation. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Mr. Mututua. God bless you. From that day, I felt like I was refused. My was, spirit. Was, that was it not that that prophecy? The Lord showed me that the enemy has injected you, you with cancer. Yes, yes, and yes. And you have been feeling that that prophecy was very sensitive yes. because it's a sensitive part of somebody's wife. And the husband was also where? In church. Right in church. But when you are a lion and you know what God is showing you, life depends on it. <laughs> you don't take it canal. Because I remember that day I said, what if the husband leaves church and never comes back again? You call them to the front and you are saying, you are seeing the wife's nipple. And when she gets up, the nipple itches her. 
Is it not sensitive? It is very sensitive, but at the end of the day, her life depends on it. <laughs> her deliverance depends on it. And we went ahead to minister to her in addition to that prophecy. We said all these other things were going to happen to her. And this is what she's hearing. So we thank God Amen. that the grace is indeed working. Amen. Continue, ma'am. So, um, fast forward. Uh, I had uh, been given a temporal job from uh, this Indian doctor from South Point Hospital. So it happened that uh, he told me to say, you need to report for work on the 13th of June. Then we are going to discuss about your conditions as you report for work that day. Actually, 13th of July. So yeah, I was like, but I'm desperate, I need a job. And then this man, he's telling me that he will tell me my take home after I report for work. That Monday, I was so discouraged that my husband told me, just go, give it a try. Since he said you discuss as you start. So that's how that Monday morning, I went for work at South Point Hospital, the one that is in Kavangwe. So as I reported for work that day, I received the phone call. Then this man goes, hello, is this Dunia? And I say, yes, it's Dunia. I'm calling you from Charles. Tomorrow you need to get your offer later. You've been offered a job. Then I went like, what? Because I attended the interviews for Charles. That was last year in February. That's when we had those interviews. So I said, I should come. Can I come today? And then they said, yes, you can even come today. I called my husband. My husband said, I can't believe it. Surely they're going to give you that offer late. I'll come and give you a 500. He didn't believe it. So that's how I said, ah, let me hold my peace. I'm just working for, uh, uh, for the first day here. So I ended the day. Then I told, um, I called the same boss. Say, tomorrow I might not report here again because I've been called somewhere. So when I reached that place at church, I couldn't believe myself. I couldn't believe myself. I just said, God, this is your doing. Amen. I was offered a job as an HIV programs officer. Amen. Amen. And everyone kept on looking at me because that job is for big people. Amen. Amen. Big people. <laughs>
a man to pray on earth there is God to answer in heaven Amen. Amen Amen. I was so nervous that day I couldn't believe it when they gave me the contract I read through the contract I said if I, have they made a mistake with this salary wow I was shivering I remember texting my mom to say, I don't know. I can't believe this. I... I'm used with the clinical work of seeing patients, writing prescriptions. But that side, it's all about implementation. Amen. I... So I'll be going to the same clinic, Coptic. Where you got fired. Where? The same one. Yes. <laughs> Chai, 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 you chai, made a way hey. And you made a way hey. When a match were against the wall And it looks as if he knows all And you, you made a way made a way. Amen. That the same hospital that fired you, hey. you got a job in a bigger company uh -huh. and they have given you a higher position Yes. and you will be reporting there uh -huh. to inspect. Hey. And they have to report to you. Indeed, God has made a way. Amen. I'm, I'm still waiting for the, the part of the salary. That's the part I'm waiting for. That is the sweetest part of the testimony. So I said, is this, maybe that made a mistake. Coming to the incentives. Ah, well, there's nothing that God cannot do. Indeed. The Bible says he's the God of all mankind. And there's nothing that is too hard for him. Amen. Amen. There are so much incentives that they even told me to find a gym. Be paying for that gym. Hey. 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 Holy Ghost. Hey. They told me to bring. If you have not watched a prophecy, please go back and watch a prophecy. Because my eyes opened and I saw a car port and I saw her car being parked and I saw her husband's car also being parked and I said, All this struggle of you. And your husband fighting over a car is going to be a thing of the past. Amen. Even before her first salary will come, yes, they have already told her to go and look for a four by four. Four hey. by four. Hey. Say hey. hey. Not a saloon car. A four by, by four. And this one, eh? You will let somebody who has a personal demon from their village following them uh -huh. tell you that this man of God uh -huh. don't support his ministry ah say hey. so mama they told you to go and look for a jeep that they will buy for you and it's just a minor incentive so they told me say bring the birth records for your kids because we need to put them on education allowance Aye. Hey. What, what does that mean? They are putting your children on education allowance. Meaning what? Every January, there's an education allowance that is allocated. So they pay for their school fees for the ah. whole year. Hey. Where is your husband? Uh, he's at work. He just dropped me at the stage something to do. Wow. So your husband was going to stop paying school fees for the children? This is when he has to start producing more children. Start producing, start producing, start producing. 
Because the grace is what? Wait. It's available. Start producing. And that's not enough. They needed four birth records. And I only have two kids. So I had to call my sister to say, I'm asking for your two kids their birth records. They need them at work urgently. Amen. <laughs> then, on top of that, there are medical schemes wow. that you'll be entitled to. Wow. Two medical schemes. They'll give you a scheme and they'll give you a NIMA accreditation card. Say, in case you go to a hospital, their pharmacy doesn't have medications. You use another NIMA card to go to any pharmacy. For free. And, yes, for free. They will take care of it. They will take care of it. Amen. Amen. And there are so on and so on and so on. There are just a lot of incentives. Amen. Then, when I was taken to the office, after I was done with everything, I met these three big people. It's office of four people. It's ART, PMTCT, and TB. So they said, this is the person that has replaced the girl that left. Oh, so before I go there, I asked the HR to say, with all these incentives, why did the girl leave the job? Because this job is too attractive for a person to leave it. He said, certain answers belongs to God. This was your job, even for the girl. You know, mom, you know, I couldn't believe my ears. He told me certain things belong to God. The girl just left the job. And you were second from the girl. So we went in the database and checked. That's how we called you. Because it was so surprising to say, how could a person leave such a job? Just wake up and then they just resign from nowhere. So I just thank God. I just thank God for for his doing. I just thank Papa. Amen. Amen. I just thank you so very much. Amen. I call your grace as evidence based grace. Amen. Because I've seen it working in my life. Amen. I have grace today because of the prophecy you prophesied. Amen. You saw it, you prophesied. That's how that girl is alive today. Amen. This job, when I had no hope, when I was hopeless, when my connections failed me, the people that I believed they could help me to get a job, they couldn't. He saw it and it has come to pass. Hey. Now, hey. now, the Coptic Hospital where you got fired, compared to this one where you got a new job, how is the salary difference? <laughs> we have heard of the incentives. Now listen to the salary also. Wow. Um, it can't be compared by far. Compared by far. It's high. Blessing is coming to you. Amen. A double miracle is coming to you. Amen. A double favor is coming to you. Amen. I see you going to your next level. Amen. As you have tapped into this testimony, yes. May you also give a double testimony. Amen. May you also receive a double breakthrough. Amen. Shout fire. Fire. Shout fire. Fire. We are going to dance to the glory of God. The So get up and grease your waist. Grease your waist. Yeah, my God is good. Oh. Hey, my God is good. 
We are a church that do not mourn. Are you a witness? We are a church that always celebrate the goodness of, of God. And we thank God for such an atmosphere where we don't come and we are so morose and broken because we have to announce the burial of a daughter or a son in the house. But rather we come to dance and celebrate the goodness of God in a daughter's life. Your own is also on the way. We are about to celebrate you as well. By the grace of God, our ministry is all over the world through the Amen. power of technology. Amen. Your testimony will also be all over the world. Amen. Your testimony will also be all over the world. Amen. Your breakthrough will be heard all over the world. Amen. Your miracle will be seen all over the world. Shout I swallow seven times. Last one. Swallow. Before we pray for our daughter, I want you to look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, alas. alas. Tell the next neighbor, alas. alas. Your, own your own is on the way. Don't run away. Don't be weary. Don't be broken. Alas, alas, alas. You are next to testify. Hallelujah. Amen. We pray in the name of the Father, yes. in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. And we say thank you for the answered prayer. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Yahweh, for the answered prayer. Yes, Lord. You are proving over and over and over again that indeed I did not leave my purpose to follow you, but I left the world to fulfill my purpose. That is to be used by God to touch lives to change lives, and to change families. Amen. You have also proven that in this house we do not use sorcery. Yes. Neither do we use divinations. Uh -huh. But we speak the word and the mind of God. Amen. That when we speak in your name, yes. signs and wonders follow. Amen. Thank you for what you have done for this daughter. Yes, Lord. Thank you for what you have done for us as a church. Yes, Lord. Thank you for what you have done for their family. Yes, Lord. May it remain permanent. Amen. May it remain permanent. Amen. She will not die in this job. Amen. She will not lose her marriage in this job. Amen. He will not lose, she will not lose her salvation yes. in this job. Amen. She will not lose her church in this job. Amen. But it will get better and stronger for her. Amen. Her commitment to God will be stronger. Amen. Her marriage will become sweeter. Amen. Her service to her church will become stronger. Amen. And we pray, Jehovah God. Yes. That she will even be promoted. Amen. Before the end of this year. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Fire One TV. Graced differently. Anointed differently.